Hey everyone, good morning, Howard Selecon. It is Thursday the 6th of April 2023. Now, there's a lot of parents and carers out there that have got their kids sitting exams when they go back after the Easter holiday. But here's the thing, how effective are the kids with their revision? All I can say is this, if you want to make them 100% more effective, take away their bloody phones, yeah? Take away their phones because consider it this, when your phone is in sight, your attention span is down by at least 40%. That means you cannot revise effectively. So put your phone in another room. And here's the thing as well, don't over revise. Don't do like four or five hours in one go. Do maybe two sets of 45 minutes or two sets of an hour a day spread out to make it more effective. There were some productivity studies done in America a little while ago, 30,000 plus people. And they were saying that the, the best study time or focus time, 52 minutes, then take a break. So just try that. Get your kids to focus for 52 minutes to do their revision without their bloody phones. And this is the trouble with these phones, right, okay? Kids are addicted to them. Human beings are addicted to their phones, period. And they're always wanting to look and see what's on there. Whether it be a phantom message, a bleep comes up, they've got a little rush of dopamine to their brain, they just have to go and have a look. So get the phone out of sight, out of mind, and get them to focus and revise effectively because they're gonna take in so much more information and retain so much more information. So parents, carers, speak to your kids about this video, tell them to put their phones away, only of course if they want to have successful exams so if they don't if they don't give a shit then give them their phones put the telly on play some music whatever but i would highly recommend just take their phones away just for two lots of one hour every single day so you can get them with their revision and crush it when they get back have a great day get after it